Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a new episode of When You're Delusional, You're Gonna Be on TikTok. I do hope you're gonna enjoy the video, so let's just get into it. Hi, my name is Grace, and I'm an elder ho. And today I want to tell you to stop sleeping with him. That's right, you heard me correctly. Stop sleeping with him. Okay, but why? There's not enough men for you to sleep with? No, that can't be it. Is it because you're an elder ho, like you said? That can't be it either. You're not supposed to post advices out there that you can't even follow. If he's on the fence about any of these human rights issues going on, stop sleeping with him. If he asks you hypothetical questions like, well, what if she wants to get an abortion as she's giving birth, do you think, do you think that should be legal? Stop sleeping with him. If he likes to play devil's advocate, stop sleeping with him. If he says things like, it's important to listen to both sides, especially in regards to platforming white supremacists, stop fucking sleeping with him. You're just encouraging shitty behavior, and he's never gonna pick you. Trust me, it's awkward now, but you will thank me later. Oh, so all that was about modern issues? Okay, you'll thank me later. <clears throat> no one will, because no one's gonna listen to you. Did you ever heard of leading by example? Obviously not. By the way I see this, there's gonna be two types of women that is gonna listen to you speak. First type will be 304 just like you. And let's face it, none of them have the ability to say no, especially to Chad's and Tyrone's. And the second type is gonna be women that are married, in relationships, or looking for relationships. Do you really think a married woman will stop sleeping with her husband just because you say so? Do you really think a woman that's using protection? Or a woman that's careful about the man she's sleeping with and making sure they use protection? Do you really think she's gonna stop sleeping with their man? Or an even better question, are you gonna be able to say no when the Chad's and Tyrone's are coming over to you and say yo? Cause my guess is gonna be no. I have never and will never flirt with a man for a free drink. Are you kidding me? Paying compliments for cocktails is simply not worth it and a complete waste of time. Oh, so she's a good girl. <laughs> Actually, she isn't. Just keep in mind what she said so far because she's about to change her entire story in a matter of seconds. However, I did manipulate men into buying me drinks by simply capitalizing on their egos. Now, I don't do this anymore, but when I was a broke college student, I would walk into a bar looking fine as fuck and wait for some drunk, unruly man to approach me. After basic introductions are made and I get the feeling that he has something to prove, I look him up and down and say, You look like you're a big spender. Are you rich? These poor sons of bitches, their chest puffs up and they say, I do okay for myself. And that's my cue to say, Well, then I guess you wouldn't mind buying me a drink, right? And usually this is met with no contest. They buy me a drink and I dip because Duh, but sometimes there's a little resistance. Enter phase two, question their integrity. It's only $12, are you not actually rich? Are you lying? <laughs> and because this man is drunk, has something to prove, and is undoubtedly trying to impress you, he will buckle and buy you that drink, baby. You're questioning whether or not he's an honest man. He has to prove himself somehow, right? Congratulations, you got a free drink and you didn't have to compliment a man. Right, back then when you were a broke college girl. The only difference now is you left college. You dressed up in a cheap fur just so you'll have us believe you have money now. <laughs> yeah, right. But for now I'm gonna ignore her cause it's, let's face it, it's the same old story. Just another tree thinking she's a 10. Just another strong and independent woman who is proud to pay her own bills. Just another mediocre woman thinking she's the prize. So I'm gonna talk to us for a change. We need to stop validating this type of woman. Just because, as you heard, she thinks she can manipulate men. And some of them do, but this one, to be honest, just for me, I would not be drunk enough to consider her attractive and buy her a drink. You want to buy a pretty woman a drink in a bar, that's fine, you do you. But whenever they approach you to buy them a drink, just say no. Say it from your chest. Say something from no to I'm sorry. I understand you need to wash your mouth after leaving the men's bathroom, but you're not gonna do it on my money. Say it loud, say it in a way that the whole bar is gonna hear you. She talks about the $12 drinks, and I understand it's your money, you do whatever you want with your money. But let's not forget that most of us work hard for our money. And I understand that for some people, $12 is tomorrow's lunch, and for some people it's just pocket change. It doesn't matter where you stand financially, you still need to protect your reputation and your pride. You're a man, hold your head high, and don't let these lunatics take away your masculinity. Okay, so let me read what she said. I've worked real hard on my anger rage issues, but come at myself or someone I care about sideways and the side of me I work so hard to suppress is coming out. And this is the caption on her video. She said this. 
I will fight you in a KFC parking lot while playing Keanu in D major in my head. So obviously I found me a warrior from TikTok. I would be curious to know how many men will be posting something like this. Cause I'm gonna guess not a lot. Maybe because we understand violence in a different way. Or maybe because there are different repercussions for a man advertising violence. Either way, I would be curious what you guys think. So no, I will not be translating what they said to each other. And no, I am not advertising or encouraging violence in any type of way. He could have handled his situation in a different manner. And he's a piece of shit for what he did. I've only posted this so maybe that young lady from earlier will understand better when it comes to violence and advertising violence. The truth is, she looks like she can never hurt a fly in a boxing match, wearing gloves and everything. Also the truth is, just because you got a tattoo, it doesn't make you Mike Tyson. Also the truth is, just because you pulled some weights, it doesn't make you a heavyweight champion. Also, and this is a sad truth, prisons are filled with guys that just looked at someone else the wrong way or said some things the wrong way. And an even sadder truth is there's millions of people that are six feet under just because they looked at someone else funny. And for them, wrong time, wrong place actually means something. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. It's time to end this video here. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.